Hey everyone, a lot of people are now receiving the new DJI Inspire 1 quadcopter. And of course, just like video games, right when you get it, you have to update it. So I'm going to show you how to update the firmware in both the DJI quadcopter and the uh, remote control. So as of January 5th, 2015, the newest firmware out is the version 1.2.014. And you can find that by going to the DJI.com site, going to the Inspire page, and going to the Downloads button. Download the zip file and extract the files and inside you'll find a .bin file that's used to upgrade uh, both the remote control and the Inspire quadcopter. So first let's upgrade the firmware in the remote controller and what I did is I took a USB thumb drive and put the .bin file in the root directory of this thumb drive. From there you're going to take the thumb drive, plug it into the USB port in the controller and power on the device. Okay, once it's done doing that, it should recognize that the new new.bin file is in there and just automatically start upgrading. It will start making some beeps and then a blue light down here. And when it's done, this LED towards the bottom will turn green and the beeps will no longer be beeping. I already upgraded the controller so I can't show you exactly what the process was, but I have not upgraded the firmware in the quadcopter. So next, what we're going to do is on the camera, there's the slot for the micro SD, so we're going to pop that out, right? And then I have a micro SD adapter that I use to plug into my PC. So we just put that in, and then the same thing's going to happen. You're going to take the same .bin file from the extracted zip file and put it on that micro SD. Once it's on there, we're going to take it and plug it back into the camera. Then we're going to take a fully charged, it says half the charge, but you should be charging your battery all the way the first time you get it, and plug it on in, and turn on the Inspire. Nice. So if you connect your the DJI Pilot app, you'll see that it'll tell you if um, how much of the upgrade is done so far. All right, 30%. And you can hear all the noises that it's making while it's updating. It sounds like it's turning on a couple times. But as long as it's not a solid tone or it just stops, then it should be good. Now in the instructions it says it's going to take 20 minutes to upgrade. But uh, I upgrade when I upgraded the controller, it really only took about 4 minutes for the controller where it said 10 in the in the manual so I'm assuming this is going to go faster as well. Still upgrading. 51%. All right, 97%. We have a solid red light in the back. 99%. Come on. Update completed. The aircraft will restart in 2 seconds. There it goes, restarting, all right, and no more errors on the DJI Pilot app. So what do you do if you don't have a thumb drive available to um, plug into the controller? Well, it turns out that DJI supplies with the Inspire a micro, um, a micro USB cable that you can actually plug into the camera. So what you can do is plug one end into the camera uh, with the gimbal and the other end into the PC and, or Mac and it should uh, open up just like any thumb drive and you can put the .bin file onto the camera directly. And once the firmware is upgraded on the Inspire 1 uh, actual aircraft, you should be able to upgrade the firmware in the controller just by having the uh, file on the camera. So that's how you upgrade the firmware on the Inspire 1 and the controller. If you have any questions, please list them in the comment section and I'll try to answer as quick as possible.